What's up everybody? This is day 24 of the 90 day challenge and I'm excited to be able to walk you through a strategy of using Instagram for advertising for your Shopify store. Not only to use Instagram for advertising but also to use videos. Videos have a lot of power. For example, here I am on my personal profile. I don't even use this one to sell anything. And here you go as an example of a video. This is a video meme right here, uh, just as an example. You can put text on it, it's just like a graphic. But what happens is the video can play inside of there, just like that. And so I'm on, um, on this one right here, like I'm on desktop, and so I have to click to play. But if you are on um, mobile, this will automatically play and it will loop. And so this is what I'm gonna walk you through today is basically how to be able to find and publish videos like this. You can even create them yourselves and you can do them to sell Shopify products, which is really cool. Now, as a quick note for those of you that are taking notes, these videos need to be 59 seconds or less, really one minute or less, but 59 on the safe side, or less to be published on Instagram. Now, depending on when you're watching this, Instagram is always changing, so there's a chance that that may have changed. But um, let's jump over here into the 90 Day Challenge group, and let's make sure we're good. Here we are, just wanna make sure real quick. Um, we are live here, people are starting to jump on. Hey, what's up everybody? So if you can hear me and see my screen all right, I know you can see the screen. If you can hear me all right, let me know. And we're gonna just dive into this story. First of all, while some of you are jumping on live, let me give some quick, uh, a quick shout out to Lawrence Aponte, uh, one of our members in the community. Lawrence Aponte, uh, his story is incredible. Actually, it's extraordinary. He went from, uh, he was locked up in prison for a while. He got out, he decided to go on a good path and he ended up generating over $700,000 online with e-commerce. And just today, this article went live. It's an article right here. After spending more than six years in a Florida prison, the first thing Lawrence Aponte did upon his release was look for a job. You kind of go through this, how he got a $7 an hour job, uh, how it wasn't working. But then in less than three years after his release, he went from a $7 an hour job to raking in more than a million dollars in online sales. Uh, he did that and now he teaches online at Techademics. So, first things first here in Inc. Magazine, congratulations to Lawrence Aponte for getting a feature on his story. You know, he talks about how he went into prison, uh, how he served time, um, you know, what, what happened and how he got, uh, how he basically went through trial and error and found some stuff that works, how he came across Shopify, um, you know, how he basically started with an initial $5 ad, just like all of us are starting with. And then how he went and did, uh, took mentorship and mastermind courses with myself and several others. And um, pretty cool how he generated some revenue and uh, inspired others. So if you guys are inspired by this, by this story, then come to this story and write a comment right here. You can come and you can write a comment, leave the comment, and that's going to be pretty cool. So wanted to quickly give a shout out to Lawrence Aponte. And with that being said, we've got a lot of us jumping on now. Let's go ahead and dive into the training. So... What we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about Instagram. I'm on the desktop version of Instagram, which is very limited, uh, and then there's also mobile, which is where most people use Instagram. Today, we're gonna talk about these types of videos and um, how you can use these and you can upload them and, uh, and publish them on Instagram as videos and run them as ads and sell products with them. Pretty cool, right? So, first things first is, what you can do is you can come up here to this Instagram search box and you can search and find products. Now. I've already um, been searching a lot, so I've already got you know 100 or so products that I found in the search box, but I'll give you an example. So here's an example of a product I just did, magnetic charger, okay? Sorry, I pulled up a girl. <laughs> magnetic charger, let's see. Oh, there you go, you gotta choose one. Magnetic charger, okay, there you go. Just like a hashtag, magnetic charger. 11,515 posts are on magnetic charger. And so you'll notice on this right here, it's a product. You'll notice there's these little things here have a little video icon on them. That's how you know it's a video. And this one is no video icon. That's how you know it's a picture. So you see this is a video, picture. You can see the difference, right? Picture, picture, picture. These are all pictures. Now, anytime you're looking at a hashtag, you have your top posts. And then underneath, you have your most recent. So you can go through here and you can kind of see really cool picture ideas. You can see video, videos as well and you can load more. Okay. So you can go and you can look at almost any topic. Now, when you see something, you can hover over it, and this will tell you the amount of plays it's had. Now, if you see something that has had a lot of plays, 
that's a sign that it might be a good product to kind of model after. So you can really start searching for anything, go through, first of all, great pictures, right? You can see all these great pictures. You're looking for a little icon on the top right for video. And when you find something that's a video, you kind of put your mouse over. This one's had 220 views and you keep pushing. Okay, here's one here, 331 views. You're looking for anything that's in the thousands and thousands of views. And you're really looking to kind of get ideas. See 72 views and whatnot. Okay, um, 530 views and it goes on and on and on. 1,686 views is getting closer, right? But let's go all the way up to the top. Usually in the top posts, see this one has 921, 170, and then boom, right here, 85,000. So you see the difference? This one has 85,000. That's how you know that they're running ads. That's how you know these people are, are basically just killing it, right? So let's go ahead and click on this. So first things first, you can learn a lot through this technique of searching stuff, searching products, and seeing how that works. First thing you wanna do is you're gonna watch, wanna watch the video. So let's watch this real quick. I don't know if you can hear it, but let's just watch the full video since it's less than a minute. All right, so there's the video, and then they get a little awesome thing to them, right? Now, so you'll notice here they have Indiegogo as the actual place that they got the video from. This is the Geek's Garage. So essentially, there's videos like this all over the internet. So here on, here on Instagram, we kind of see this kind of a style of a video. Now, the way it works is that Instagram's gonna post it in a square. So you see how it's a black bar on the top and a black bar on the bottom. Now, this is a great place to be able to put text. They're not really leveraging it. They're just leveraging it as an HD video. So you see it's got just a black bar on the top, black bar on the bottom. So it's like an HD video. If you were to go back to my profile, you'll see kind of like how I leverage that black space up on the top and the bottom. I just, I just put words on there. Life of an entrepreneur music video. And so if the, this is actually a great place to be able to sell some stuff too. Like be able to, be able to use this as some sales copy to be able to sell a message. But in this case, as you're scrolling through and you're finding videos, first things first, if there's a video that you find that looks generic, that you think you might be able to use, what you can do is you can copy the URL. See this whole URL here, just copy it. Highlight and copy the URL. Then you can go to Google. And in Google, you can just type, uh, you know, download Instagram videos. Just do a search for download Instagram videos. And a, n a number of these are available. Let's just click the first one. Enter Instagram URL you'd like to download, and you just paste that and press enter, and, it's, and it automatically pulls up the file here to download, and you can call this magnetic charger video. Pretty simple, right? Um, and just like that, we got the magnetic charger video, and it's ready to go. So now that you have the magnetic charger video downloaded, you can keep finding more videos if you want. There's really a lot of stuff you can do. Um, and you know, you can, you, can, you can have some fun with it. Let's, like you can, you can find products on um, maybe AliExpress, you know, like let's see, magnetic charger, and you can kind of find like the same product that's in the video. So you can go here and you can be like, okay, essentially the same product that's in the video, and you can kind of see what your cost is, 648 for that, and you can kind of learn a lot about it. Now, not only that, but when you're here on, um, Instagram, you can look and you can see Splendor Universe, one charging cable for all your phones by the Geeks Garage. Discount available. Click the link in our bio and use the code Splendor to get flat 10% off the order. Um, and then you see all these keywords. Well, you can actually um, you can actually use these as well to leverage other products. So you know, like iPhone cable, you can look to see if there's more products there for iPhone cable. You can start to see gadget guru maybe that's a maybe that's something you can iphone cases magnetic charger that's the one that we're on right now so you can start to find in case you didn't know to think of magnetic charger once you find one video you can kind of go to a bunch more you can go to iphone cable and you go through and you look here's a bunch of pictures 
lots and lots of pictures. You can go through the same exact thing and you can go through and you can actually sort and find videos. So it's, a, it's an easy way to be able to go through and find stuff. Um, it's a great way. Now, there's an even better way. I'm just on desktop. Now, when you're on mobile, what's going to happen when you're scrolling through mobile, um, you can actually scroll through a newsfeed like this on mobile and you can and you can see like every 10th post or every 20th post or whatever will be a sponsored post and so when you're on when you're on your mobile phone scrolling through it'll say sponsored and you'll be able to look and you'll see videos all the time and then you're able to bookmark them as well so one of the benefits is you're actually able to go in and you're able to bookmark uh, videos on mobile you just can't do all of that here so real simple we did magnetic charger we found it we downloaded it and uh, we're here on Instagram now Depending on, your, um, depending on your computer, if you're on a Mac, uh, videos are really easy to edit. If you're on a, map, you, uh, a Mac, you can actually just, um, let's see if I can uh, edit, let me see if I can change to be able to show you guys this editing screen really quick. Hold on, let me see if it'll let me change. QuickTime player, okay. You should be able to see this now. I just opened up my QuickTime player. So I downloaded this video. I've got the whole video, I'm fast forwarding it through it. Okay, you'll notice at the end it's got this like the geek's garage or whatever. If the whole thing is a generic video besides that at the end, then when you're in, um, when you're in QuickTime, you can go right to the end, right before it uh, goes to the geek's garage or whatever it is, right there where it goes black. See, there's the geek's garage, right before it pulls up the geek's garage. And if you're in QuickTime, all you have to do is split the clip and delete that little part at the end. Now, if you don't have QuickTime, you might have to use another program for that, uh, but that's all I did was, um, you know, magnetic charger video. All I did was I ended it um, at the end. Okay, so now let's, now you'll see like it just ends black. Okay, so I just took out the Geek's Garage part in the middle. Now there's Geek's Garage at the top, but I don't need to worry about that right now. So, and if I had a, if I actually wanted to add words to the top and the bottom, I could do that as well. So now I have this video and I have it saved as magnetic charger video. So now what I can do is take it off, uh, hold on, I gotta take it off uh, this, let's put it back on my Google Chrome. Okay, perfect. So now I'm on Google Chrome, so now we don't need this side anymore. Now I can go, uh, obviously I'd find the product, I'd put together a product page for it. Now I go over to my ads manager. Now inside of, when you're inside of Facebook, uh, you can go inside of an ads manager, let me go to one of my testing accounts. Um, you can go inside of an ads manager and now you can place an ad. So let's take a look at this. Okay, Lots of ads you can place, conversion ads, engagement ads, whatever it is, video view ads, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to make a simple ad right now. We're going to call this magnetic charger video. Okay, Continue um, and you can go in here and you can, you can basically target in your detailed targeting you could take people that um, you know, whatever phone it is, stuff like that. You can actually take people that own a certain phone, you know, behaviors. Here's people that own iPhone 7. You know, you can, you can target people that own specific phones. That might be good for it. There's like a lot of stuff you can do. You can target owners of phones. It's an iPhone phone charger. You know, take all the, all the modern iPhone 6 and 7 owners or whatever. Um, there's a lot of stuff you could do with that. Uh, you could also go... Um, up here, you can you can target age ranges that you think might be likely for that United States. Anything you guys know how to place ads. As far as edit placements, um, you could go all devices. You could do mobile only because they're gonna it's gonna be an Instagram ad, so you can do mobile only. And then you got Facebook and you got Instagram here. Let's erase all of Facebook, okay? Let's not even post this thing on Facebook. Let's just post it on Instagram, okay? This is how you're gonna post an Instagram video. You got the video, just post it on Instagram. Pretty simple, right? Um, now obviously this, this audience is too big, but I'm just showing you an example. Budget schedule, let's just make this thing five, a $5 video, $5 a day, whatever, you can make it whatever you want. Um, continue, okay, create a new ad. So you go here to create a new ad, single video, and it says upload the video you wanna use. Okay, so let's go over here, let's upload that magnetic charger video. It's gonna take a minute, especially uh, if you don't have it preloaded in. Your video is processing. In the meantime, you can create other parts of your ad. And so that's really all you do. You just upload your video ad right there, and then you're going to go down, you're going to place your ad um, from whatever page. Now, you can have your videos preloaded. If you guys remember how I taught you how to do that, you can go into your, um, up here, you can actually go into all tools, and you can actually go in here to your sections and, and do it. All right. Um, 
And check this out. It even gives you a hint that 15 seconds or less are going to be um, the more valuable ones. Okay, so here's your magnetic charger video. We didn't add the text on the top or the bottom or anything. We could have. Um, they give you some video thumbnails you can choose from. So you want to scroll through here and look for one. You generally um, want one that is um, less text. You know, the, the, more, the, the less text, the better. But you can see you can preview it right up in here. So I'll make it a little bigger for you. Or generally, but you can always just select the best image yourself. So you can always just kind of come in here and, and see kind of like what all these look like. Or select an image yourself. And if you ever want to select an image, all you have to do is go take a screenshot um, of whatever image you want to select or whatever. And I'll just grab one real quick um, in the background. You won't be able to see me doing this probably, but let's just, I'm just going to grab a quick one. Screenshot. Save it. Okay. So now I should be able to select an image. Um, and I'm able to upload an image. And go to my desktop. And see, screenshot. I'm just showing you an example and then select it. Okay, so just like that I grabbed, a, I grabbed an image introducing this and it's like an image of the magnetic charger right there. So it kind of shows how it kind of comes together. It's a 44 second video because I chopped out the end. I've got my own custom thumbnail. You can mess around and find any thumbnail that you might like. This is the thumbnail that people will see before it auto plays. So now that I've got my video, um, I'm going to go down over here to Video captions, you can, you can actually use video captions. That's going to help a lot. But see how this video already has captions? You don't need to worry about that since your video already had this one actually already has captions. Now you need to find a page to post it from. It's going to show you what it's going to look like right here. So you can post it from a page. Hopefully you have a page all about this. If not, um, you could just create a new one right there. Okay, so let's do, um, let's do, comp no, let's do brand or product. Sorry, let's go back, cancel. We'll just create a page really quick for this. Create a new page, brand or product, um, and let's just let's just call this page name um, um, iPhone versus Android. And let's choose a category. You could obviously name it anything. Let's choose a category of electronics. And then let's upload an image. Let's quickly go get one from, from Google Images. Let's see what kind of comes up. Okay, go to Images and Google. Sorry, my computer's running a little slow. I apologize for that. I'm not entirely sure why. Okay. So let's look and let's maybe just grab something. I don't like using too much um, stuff for, for, the, for the sake of doing this real quick. I'm just going to use this one. I probably wouldn't use this one because I don't like using brand names in my stuff. But I'm just going to, since I'm going quick, to just show you this. Obviously, you would probably have one that's like in your niche or your store or whatever it might be. Create page. Okay, so it's creating a page in the background. And you saw how easy that was. I just created one. And it's creating it. And then boom. It's going to be created. So now I can use iPhone versus Android. Well, let me move this over. I don't know why my computer is going so slow, you guys. I really do apologize for that. You never know, do you? There's my page, iPhone versus Android. The picture is not the best because it wasn't a complete square. And can't do anything about the slow connection today, guys. Sorry about that. But iPhone versus Android, it actually looks kind of cool because it's like a circle like that. Now, here's the thing. It lets you do an ad preview, but I only chose Instagram as my source. So check this out. It literally just, this is what it's going to look like when it plays on Instagram. It's going to have a logo. It's going to have iPhone versus Android sponsored. It's got a video here. Um, now, of course, I'm using, a, I'm, I'm going to come back to this. A lot of you guys might be asking, okay, well, it has the Geeks Garage in it. It's got this and that in it. Do I really want to use that one? Probably not. I'm just showing you the basic elements. Then I'll show you what to do to basically go in here and, and, uh, and grab these. So I'm just giving you the basics first. Then we'll touch up on what to do about this. Um, in a nutshell, you upload the video like this. This text here is what's going to go underneath it. You can see right there. So underneath this text here, it's going to basically um, give you an option to be able to say something about the video. Okay. And then you know, you can do, don't worry about the branded content. 
because you have that option um, later. But that's this is like a page post engagement ad for them to be able to go in. Now, before I post this, I wanna show you guys a couple options. This is just how simple it was. See how you just basically upload a video, create a fan page, and I'm easily able to promote it just like that. Now, that being said, let's go back here to objective. That's an engagement video. Now you also have other kinds like conversion ads right here, okay? You could also do conversion ads. Let's just go through that one. Magnetic charger video. Conversion ads. Same kind of thing. Let me make sure, hold on, let me make sure my screen's not too slow for you guys. Okay, it's catching up pretty fast. And you can choose which conversion you want to do. You know, what conversion you want to do. Let's do a purchase conversion on this one. You can obviously do a lot of different uh, types of conversions. And the same kind of thing, you can choose your audience. I'm going to go really quick with this because you guys, uh, on a different module, you guys can learn. Let me just grab a, a basic one. Um, iPhone 7, behaviors. Boom, 12 million people, iPhone 7 behaviors. Okay, we're just gonna roll with that one. Um, and then edit placements. You've got Instagram and you've got Facebook and you've got mobile. So I'm gonna go mobile and then I'm gonna erase Facebook because I just want this thing just on, um, just on Instagram. I'm gonna erase audience network. All I wanted is on Instagram right there. Real simple, just on Instagram. And um, daily budget, again, whatever you want. I'm just going to go down here to $5. And you could go through all this. We're not even going to go through this right now. Continue. And now let's go back in here and let's do a single video. Same kind of concept. You guys get it. Okay, create a new ad. Upload one from your library. Now this time when you press, uh, sorry, when you upload a video or browse library, you can actually just go here to browse library and you'll be able to start to see anything that you maybe have uploaded before. So you can actually create a library of things that you've uploaded. See how I have all these different types of videos here? So you can go in here and you can actually take your videos and upload them into your library and you'll have them for use anytime that you want just like that. So you have videos that you already have loaded in. It's the same kind of process we just went through. I'm gonna go through the same thing once more. We're gonna show it to you, okay? So now um, another thing about this is you can actually, uh, you can actually even, um, Crop videos, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. You can, you can once, once you guys get, if you get some basic video editing software on your computer, there's actually a lot of options you could do. You can crop the video, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, and again, we can select that image just like we did before. Um, there's a thumbnail just like the one we had before. Select the image and there we go. It's the same video we did before. Same thing, we basically downloaded a video, uploaded it, and we have it right here. We add our own thumbnail. It's got video captions already on it. Same kind of thing. And now we're gonna have our page here. Uh, we're gonna search for it. Remember we created a page last time. So once you create a page once, it should always show up. Um, iPhone, type in iPhone and see what happens. Okay, iPhone versus Android. As an example page. And now, here's what's interesting. This Facebook page will represent your business in Instagram ads or you can create an Instagram account. Well, you don't need an Instagram account. You created one, it automatically, it, it looks like it. When they go on Instagram, this, this Instagram account doesn't exist. It's just an ad. And then here's where you're gonna put your um, website URL. Let's just grab one real quick. Um, I'll grab somebody's really quick. So what you would do is you would basically have your own Shopify store. And on your Shopify store, you would have, you know, all of these different people are selling like magnetic chargers. Let's just probably sell this one. We'll see if this one's good. Yeah, we'll just sell this one here. Let's, pre let's pretend this is your store right here. Okay, so let's just grab this link. Let's go back to your ads. So let's just pretend that's your store and you'd paste your link in there. And then you could even do like a messenger a copy of your ad can be sent to people in Messenger. You can use Messenger text. For right now, we're not gonna we're gonna skip over that for right now. And then over here, this is what it's gonna look like. See, it's gonna say learn more, and that link under the video is gonna go to your website, to whatever link you put in here. Okay? Now, let's change the text. Instead of one snap, the charging cord that makes charging your phone a snap, let's just let's put in some text, something along the lines of um, this magnetic iPhone 7 charger is a 
must have um, must have accessory in 2017. Okay, something like that. Now, because I'm targeting just iPhone 7 people with this ad, I could actually put iPhone 7. Even though it's not an iPhone charger 7, I am targeting just iPhone 7 people. Uh, for your call to action, you could have it say any of this stuff. You could have it say shop now. So see where it says learn more? You could have it say shop now right there. And it'll change it to say shop now. Um, you could have it say really any of this stuff. So you could just choose one that you think is the best one. Um, display link if you want it. And this is shown to people, um, short and reformatted, but it must direct to the, to the same place as your destination URL. You don't really need to worry about that. Um, parameters, if you're putting in extra tracking, you don't really need to worry about any of this kind of stuff. But you, you are going to want to have your conversion pixel. But it's, since you're using a conversion ad, it'll automatically track. So in summary, we got an objective for a conversion ad. We've chosen the conversion for purchase. Uh, we've gone through and decided what we want it to be. Uh, we created, and then we created a single video. We, it's gonna go to Instagram, it's gonna be $5 a day, it's gonna be a single video, there's the video, custom thumbnail. We've created a page for it, and this is, what it's, this is the preview, this is what it's gonna look like right here in Instagram, okay? So that's, that's the general concept, okay? Then you're gonna go down here to place an order, okay? That's the general concept of it. Now, there's lots of things that you can do um, with this video, you can actually um, you can edit this video even more. If you have an editing software, you can actually edit it so you just have just the um, just the, the the horizontal part. You can actually make. There's a lot of things you can do. I mean, we can go into it. You can actually I could do a whole thing on showing you how to edit a video. Since my computer's slow today, in the background I just spent like a minute opening up um, <laughs> opening up uh, my video editor and it took forever. So I'm not going to go into it. What we will do is I will show you a little bit more about finding these videos. So, magnetic phone charger. I showed you how to find it on Instagram by doing searches and hashtags. What happens when we search uh, in Google? Okay, that's another great place to go. So let's go to Google and then type in magnetic phone charger. So if you have a product, go here to videos, Google videos, and you can go here and kind of do the same exact thing. You can find videos. <laughs> It only takes one hand to connect this magnetic phone charger, business insider. You can start to see, um, you know, you can start to see what other people are using. Okay, so here's a video right here. Same kind of thing, right? And then you know, using Google, there's tons of uh, the abilities to be able to download. So here's a nice little video as well, showing this. You can charge anything. It's got some text display on it. Okay. So um, here is some general rules, if you will. Now, in a perfect world, first and foremost would be to make your own videos. If you have the product yourself, make a quick video of it yourself. There's nothing better than making your own videos. Making your own videos gives you kind of like, you, you're not copying anybody else. You don't have to worry as much about stuff. You could just make your own videos. So rule number one, if, when, when possible, make your own videos. If you can't make your videos, rule number, number two is gonna be find generic videos that are generic as possible because if you're gonna spend money advertising a video, if somebody owns the video, they might contact you and ask you to take it down. So you would hate to spend hard-earned advertising dollars just to have to take down a video. And of course, if, somebody, if, if you're using somebody else's video and they ask you to take it down, of course you should. Now, number three, well, what if they take it a, a level further and what if instead of asking you to take it down, they get mad at you? for using it, right? Then you could cause problems. So anytime you're using somebody else's video content or pictures or anything, it could cause problems. One way to help offset those problems is to, um, is to, is to cite the source. Give credit to the source. So for example, if you're gonna use this video, it says Business uh, Insider up here on the top right. You see Insider. This says Business Insider up on the top, Insider right here on the top right. So one way to do it is to basically offset, um, offset instances by giving credit to Insider. Does that mean that Insider won't get mad? Well, maybe not because Insider took time to make this video. Now, they put the watermark on here knowing that when other people use it, at least it'll give Insider credit. So there's lots of ways you could actually contact Insider and say, hey, I'd love to, I'd love to feature your video on my Instagram. Is that okay? They might let you. That's one way to go about it. 
The other one is you could use the video, but you, there's risk. The risk is insider might contact you. Since I'm not a copyright attorney, I can't tell you legally um, what you can and can't do with other people's videos, but I can tell you as an entrepreneur, that's an area you have to figure out for yourself. Um, but if you were to use this video, recognize that you are using, th these guys maybe say, okay, we put in some hard work to create this. So since we put in some hard work, maybe they um, don't want other people using their video, okay? There's always those kind of concerns as well. Um, you gotta kind of decide what you wanna do. Like you saw, uh, when we went here, let's take a look at this magnetic charger. Magnetic charger. You saw what they did here. Geeks Garage, you saw they grabbed the video from Indiegogo. So Indiegogo had a video. Geeks Garage grabbed the video and even added their own logo on it. So they kept Indiegogo on it while at the same time adding their own logo on it in the post edit. The other thing they did was they made it a square because square videos show up a lot better on Instagram um, than do rectangle videos, so um, horizontal videos. So um, there's that way to do it as well. So you can go and you can find videos, kind of come back here, that was one video. Um, you know, here's a YouTube video. You can go through and you can look at these videos. You're looking for something as generic as possible. And you can also kind of see what other people are doing. Need a website. Um, and we'll skip this ad here in a second. Wix, now, just because other people website. are doing something doesn't make it okay. You might find some other people that are doing crazy stuff, okay? So let's see what these people do. They might be doing their own review. So finding the best magnetic USB cable. Are you one of those people and look, they're doing their own. This is generally what I'm saying. This is generally the best. Um, is, you know, what they're doing is they basically just have a camera and they're showing, you know, the old way of doing it. And then they're showing how there's this magnetic piece. They're doing a close up. And then they're showing how it works. That's generally the best, the best way to do it. What they're doing is the best. Now look, 610,000 views, right? So it's pretty cool, okay? And, um, you know, and then look, at, they, got, they have links down here to buy them as well, okay? So you can see they got links going um, to be able to shop and be able to purchase these. And they're using an affiliate offer here to be able to sell them on eBay, okay? So what they're doing is they're making kind of like viral review videos and then they're linking off to places where you can go purchase them, um, just like that. So this video is ideally what you would wanna do yourself, but if you want to use other people's videos, um, try to use videos that are as generic as possible. The more that these videos are gonna have brands or logos or anything on them, the more you might run into issues. Okay, so when you have products on AliExpress that you think would sell really well if a video described them, Go to Google, go to Instagram, and see if you can find these videos. And when you do find these videos, look for something generic or look for something that maybe you can give them credit and be prepared. Somebody might ask you to turn it down. So watch this. Let's go again. Site, Instagram.com, magnetic phone charger. And this is Instagram. You can kind of search on Instagram, same kind of way. Magnetic phone charger. See I did? Site, colon, Instagram.com. And you can look up stuff on Instagram same kind of way um, and you can kind of see what other people are using and this pulls up these Instagram videos introducing the magnetic connector for your mobile devices the new connect it has two parts okay and you kind of see somebody's voicing the over this and the connector to your charger the connector automatically fits if you can hear this introducing the magnetic it's somebody um, your mobile devices, the overdoing it in kind of like a, an, in, uh, a voice from India so what you could do is you could even that's a 13 second video right there if you were to turn down the volume on that, um, that would be a great video right there. Maybe add some royalty free music behind it. So if this video didn't have volume, that's kind of what we're talking about. If you were to play this video without volume Introducing the and, and either without devices. volume or your own music on it, that's copyright free. This is a nice little generic video right here showcasing an example of how magnetic works, right? So you grab this URL just like that and you would go, remember, download Instagram videos is the search you're looking to do. And when you download Instagram videos, you basically um, you just grab this first link or whatever link you want of all these. Enter your Instagram URL right there. You could just enter it, you could just copy and paste it or whatever. You can download MP3, MP4, whatever it is. And there it is. So, um, magnetic charger. 13 seconds. So now we have a 13 second video, a nice short little video. 
um, that we have access to. Now, when you have a short little video, um, you might want to put new music over it or something like that. So that's where, depending on the program that you have, um, you know, like if you, uh, I'm, I use a Mac, so I use a program called iMovie. And if I were to go, maybe I can actually pull up iMovie for you really quick. Hold on, let me see if you can, if I can pull it up. It'll probably go a little bit slow, but we'll have fun with this and see. Okay, so here's iMovie. You should be able to see that in the, in the screen there. Um, let's see if I can get this out of the way there. Okay, so iMovie, you should be able to see that. Let's um, drag a file in here really quick. Okay, so here's this 13 second video right here. Um, let me see how that looks on your screen. Total test. Okay, you can kind of see that as the, uh, as the preview right there. Okay, so there's a 13 second video. So there's that 13 second. Now in this case, um, there's a couple things that I can do. In iMovie, I could actually um, just right click and I could detach the audio from that video. And then I could just delete the, uh, delete the audio. Now I have this video without, I just right clicked on it. And I have this whole like little video piece right here without, um, without audio in it. Now, I don't want to really get into it, but you could change the dimensions to a square. I don't know that I want to get into that right now since it's going so slow. It's like catching up to me. But you can go and change the dimensions into a square if you want and, and do it that way as well. You can actually do um, film. You can, do, you can change it into a square as your, as your dimensions. And if you don't know how to do that, just do a Google search. And then you can actually put this in the middle and have text. You can even add text on top of it. So without getting into a huge video editing in, in uh, iMovie, um, that's one thing that you could do. And it's kind of fun, creating your own little video memes. But even this one right, right now, as it is, even just something as simple as this, this is usable here. A um, you know, real generic video showing, a, showing how this connects, right? And so um, just like that, or I could go and add some, you know, some basic audio to it. I can go and I can find some you know, some, some sound effects, some basic like garage band stuff, um, iTunes stuff, you know, there's all kinds of stuff you can use, um, tons of stuff. So you, you can actually go and get royalty free music as well, or just nothing. So now that I have this right here with just nothing on it, all I have to do is, um, export this video and let's put this video as, um, 13 second connect, uh, magnet video, 13 second magnet video. And and let's see what happens. 13 second magnet video. So I just went into iMovie. I detached the audio or lowered the audio or you could put new audio in. You have all those options. And let's go back to my screen if we can. Okay, let's go back to Chrome. And after you've done that, you just downloaded that. After you've done that, now, if you wanted, you can go back to, um, you know, you could go back to uh, your ads manager, same kind of thing that you're working on. But now instead of that video that we uploaded, we can go upload a new one. So instead of this video here, this one that has Geeks Garage on it, we can go back up to the top here and we can actually upload a new one. You just hit the X button on the current one. And again, my computer's running slow. But um, that's it. You just go in here, and so instead of using that current one that's 13 seconds long, we can upload a video into the library. And let's upload this new one. And this one's gonna be the one, 13 second video. This is gonna be the one without any sound. 13 second video, it's loading. And this is the one where I detach the sound, so now I have more of a generic video. And also, you can upload this video onto Facebook too. I just happen to be uploading it as a YouTube video for this ex illustration so we could teach something new today. But this is just really getting you creative, learning how to be able to do some of the basics. And then as you get better, you'll be able to come in here and kind of you know chop some things up and get them exactly how you want. You can go in here and look at the thumbnails and see if there's like a great thumbnail for this. You can kind of see what all the different thumbnails they give you are. And maybe there's one that's great. Like maybe this one right here is great. You can kind of look and see what this one looks like. Maybe you like that one, maybe you like that one. You could just decide, you know, maybe it looks better when it's not, not connected, uh, whatever it might be. And then you're gonna go down here and you're gonna see everything stayed the same. All we did was we changed the video. So now look at the video. It looks clean, it's got no sound on it, it's soundless, and it looks clean and it just says shop now. 
So that's an example right there, something super simple, and you can place that ad. So you can find videos, you can edit them using iMovie or QuickTime, or if you're on a PC, there's several programs there. In the comments of today's live stream, you guys can share your favorite video editing software if you have some. Um, and in the group, you guys can make new posts if you want, if you come across some great video editing software from time to time. But this is an example, you can do this, okay? You can go in and you can do these little Instagram videos without even having an Instagram account. And you can see if you can get some viral activity. The idea is that, watch this video, just kind of loops and autoplays as we see it right here. It just kind of loops and autoplays. It's a little 13 second clip. It's very simple. We just grabbed it. And again, use your own judgment as to the videos that you want to use, the videos you want to clip. You've got to use your own judgment. I can't sit here and teach a copyright class or a copyright infringing class. If you're nervous about using other people's videos, then don't use them. Take more time to go find a video that you're not nervous about, okay? And you know, of course, the best solution is to make your own. So with that being said, I wanted to teach you guys this topic today how to be able to find and publish videos as Instagram ads. Hopefully you guys get creative and make your own. And if anybody has success using an Instagram video to be able to sell your products and services, please be sure to let us know uh, in your own post in the group. So it's been fun hanging with you guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next day of the challenge. Take care.